The Roads to Carbon Neutral, presented by Total Energies. How can changing how we travel accelerate our journey towards net zero? As our global population continues to grow, so does our need to get around. We are traveling further and faster than ever before. However, transportation is already the largest producer of energy-based CO2, accounting for approximately one quarter of global emissions. Road transport accounts for the largest amount of these emissions, but the good news is that the electric vehicle revolution has already begun. The electrification of passenger cars is accelerating very, very rapidly. The latest data is that in the UK, approximately 16% of all new vehicle registrations are full electric. Charging station infrastructure will need to be developed around the world. Continued adoption of EVs will increase electricity consumption and the demands on our electricity grids. To truly be a low carbon solution, it is important the electricity used to charge vehicles is produced from renewable energy. Other alternative fuels are also helping to decarbonize the transport sector. The alternative fuels are gonna play a really important role in the transition. I mean, liquid natural gas, compressed natural gas. And they are really important to kind of decarbonize or partially decarbonize parts of the transport system that we don't quite have an answer to yet. Electric mobility will clearly replace internal combustion engines for passenger vehicles. However, for long distance, heavy duty transportation, hydrogen and biogas will likely be the solutions. Biofuels, which are produced from organic material derived from plants and animals, are seen as low carbon fuel solutions across the transport sector, including aviation. Airlines are developing 100% biofuel passenger jets to help reduce their carbon footprint. We are only going to move towards sustainable aviation if we get that scale of collaboration right the way across the supply chain so we can actually look at the carbon issues from making lighter, smarter aeroplanes to making sure our engines can be used with sustainable fuels. Green hydrogen is seen as a promising alternative fuel in many sectors as it is produced using renewable energy and its only byproduct is water. But more funding and new policies will be needed to make it a viable solution on a global scale. We've really got to understand as policymakers, as influencers, just how we do actually change society's way of thinking about mobility. Should we be investing more in mass transportation systems to change how we move from A to B? While the transition to lower carbon transport is underway, new policies, financial incentives and infrastructure will be needed to accelerate the adoption of these innovative transport solutions. Myth. Electric cars are a recent invention. In fact, the first production electric car was built in 1884 by English inventor Thomas Parker. By 1897, there was an entire fleet of London taxis powered by electricity. But improvements in petrol and diesel technology ended the demand for electric cars. As the popularity of electric vehicles increases, as will the need for global investment in charging infrastructure. According to the IEA, the world may need more than 200 million private and public EV charge points by 2030. Total Energies operates a charging network which it continues to grow across major European cities and it has plans to operate in China and Singapore in the near future. It's allocating $200 million to equip its service stations with high power chargers, allowing customers to charge their electric vehicles at faster rates. To help customers accelerate their shift towards electric mobility, we need to address range anxiety and charging time. That's why developing fast and ultra-fast charging network is key. We're going to focus on highways, where we're going to equip over 300 stations, but we're also going to equip over 600 stations in urban areas. EV battery technology is also evolving. Total Energy subsidiary SAFT are also developing solid-state batteries with improved energy performance. Scientists in Harvard are also looking to significantly decrease EV battery charge times. We are developing a liquid metal anode solid-state battery that can be charged and discharged for 10,000 times. Our battery could potentially support a few minutes charging speed. So that means in the future, when applied for electric vehicle batteries, we can do long driving distance, fast charging speed, long lifetime without any safety issue. 
Road freight transport accounts for nearly 30% of global transport emissions. The large scale and weight of batteries that would be required to power heavy commercial vehicles means alternatives to electrification are necessary. Green hydrogen is very versatile. It's a way of taking renewable power and converting it to something that's usable in industries where you can't use power directly. So for instance, in mobility, and heavy mobility in particular, like buses and trucks and ferries, we see a, a lot, lot of growth potential there for green hydrogen. The aviation industry is also looking to hydrogen. Zero Avia announced the first commercial flight of its hydrogen electric aircraft is set to take place between the UK and the Netherlands in 2024. However, if global ambitions for green hydrogen are to be fully realised, mass production and new infrastructure will be needed. Total Energies aims to operate up to 150 hydrogen refueling stations across numerous European cities by 2030. This hydrogen distribution network will be used, for example, by our partner Daimler Truck, who is producing and supplying hydrogen fuel cell trucks to their own customers. Low emission mass transport systems will play a massive role in a decarbonized future. So the problem with transport is it's all about the physical infrastructure. It's capital intensive, it takes a lot of money. So it takes deep pockets and very long-term perspectives to invest in the infrastructure that we need. Inventors are busy developing cutting-edge solutions to replace aging mobility infrastructure. Hyperloop is a new form of mass transportation which is set to move passengers and cargo across long distances in pods on the ground at speeds of an airplane with far less emissions. The first successful passenger test took place in 2020. Innovators are also reimagining vehicles from our past. British company Hybrid Air Vehicles are currently producing modern versions of airships which will travel using large helium structures, requiring much less energy for propulsion than traditional aircraft. The Airlander 10 claims to reduce emissions by 90% with a plan to achieve zero emissions aviation by 2030. Also set to reinvent air mobility is Sky, a hydrogen-powered air taxi under development with the ability to take off and land just about anywhere. It's set to reach flight distances up to 400 miles and allows for fast refueling. These innovative solutions give us hope for a more sustainable transport future. To reach net zero, we must transform all aspects of mobility. This will mean transitioning to low emitting vehicles using alternative fuels, as well as the support of large scale investment. It's clear how we choose to travel today will greatly affect the future well being of our planet. To find out more, visit roadstocarbonneutral.com. The Roads to Carbon Neutral, presented by Total Energies.